Well, I'm very much interested. I think we're all very much interested in the surface effects ship the idea. We've got to we've got to develop uh, great speed to be able to react anywhere in the world uh, in the shortest possible time. And I think the later generation of surface effects ship will give us that. We'll be able to respond to a major threat anywhere in the world in three or four days, even in the remote areas. And uh, I'm hoping to be a, the first hundred knot secretary. <laughs> pioneering this SES field. We had two smaller craft. We had one at three tons and one at 17 tons. And they looked good. So the next step was 100 tons. Uh, Bell Aerospace built the one which you uh, see here. And Aerojet General at Tacoma built the 100A. So these are really our developmental tools to go to the 2,000 ton ship. These were to prove the feasibility of the concept, and we have just completed the contractor test and evaluation program, and we are starting the, uh, in the design and the development of the uh, critical parts of the 2,000-ton ship. Uh, as you know, we now have all Navy crew for both of these craft. And these will be our, our training classrooms. These will be the classrooms for the crews that will man the 2,000 ton ships. This craft will make, it will do about 35 to 40 knots in eight to 10 foot waves, it has done it. But this was designed to operate in six foot waves. This one achieved a speed uh, slightly over 80 knots, which uh, out in the bay here, which as far as I know is the fastest that this, any of these craft have ever gone, even what the British have. The, performance of these craft have exceeded our expectations and they, in that respect we have exceeded the contract requirements which is uh, kind of unusual in a developmental program. 